Cutco Knives. Have you ever wondered about Cutco Knives? Most of the controversy surrounding the company Cutco comes from their marketing. Typically, they use college kids, and they give them a kit, and they go around cutting everything from paper to shoe leather and using their Cutco shears to turn quarters into corkscrews. Dang it. But what about the knives themselves? And what about the absurd warranty that Cutco claims to put on their lives, uh, their knives for the entire lifetime? Well, we decided to test that. I have about five knives here, all from the mid-1990s, so approximately 30 years old. And I just went, as anybody else would do, to the Cutco website and typed in what I had, sent them back to Cutco, and here are the results. This is the box Cutco sent me back after I sent them five knives that have been in heavy use since about 1995. So here you can see there are two knives, one being a large chef's knife and the other a large slicer. Uh, these two knives they sent back are brand new knives. I didn't really think that there was too much wrong with the slicer. The chef's knife I sent them did have a chip in it. And they sent me back two brand new replacement knives. This was for free. So I certainly am shocked that I got these two brand new knives back from this company. Again, I have no affiliation with them in any way. I just sent them in just like anybody else would, and they, they were old, old knives. The other three knives that you're seeing in the bottom have been uh, sharpened and serviced by Cutco and sent back. So you'll notice as I pull the other three knives out, you can see a little bit of burn marks on the blades. Um, and you'll notice when there's a, a spatula shaped knife, when you see that one come out, you can see that some material has been taken off in the sharpening process. And of course, you'll also see some blackening on the blade. If you catch it right here in the light, you can see that the cutting edge has some burn marks on it. And you can kind of see that the bottom cutting edge has lost some material across it. So I got these back. The um, spatula knife, I didn't do anything with it first. But the other two knives I took and polished. And after about two minutes, all the black came off and they were perfectly fine. But um, a couple days after receiving them, I got just a random survey email from cutco.com asking what I thought. So I just replied to the survey saying, hey, I got two new knives back. I thought that was above and beyond. I wasn't expecting that. But, um, you know, that the other couple of knives, one had more material off, you know, of the blade than I would have liked and that they had some burn marks on them. Well, I received an email from Cutco Customer Service in response to the survey almost immediately. And it was a representative who said, hey, if you're not happy, uh, you know, we'll get you a shipping label and pay if you just ship them back. We'll take a look at them and clean them up and, you know, see if there was something else we should have done. Well, at that point, you know, I had polished out the two um, knives and I only had, you know, the spatula there that I thought had a little too much material taken off of it that I hadn't cleaned. So I shot a couple of pictures of those and sent it back to the representative and said the others polished out fine. Uh, here was the one that had too much material off of it. And within a few days, I had a message back from Cutco again saying, hey, we've looked at your pictures and we agree. It seems they took more material off of that spatula knife than they should have. Normally we'd have you send that back, but we'll just go ahead and send you out a new one. So I'm getting a new spatula knife for this one that I'm actually still able to keep from, from the 1990s. So, you know, if you're asking yourself, are they good knives? Well, these knives, like I said, they were in service for about 30 years. Um, if you're asking yourself, is it a legitimate company? Well, by all evidence, yes. And certainly that absurd lifetime warranty, well, by all evidence for me, they honor it. 
And like I said, I have no affiliation or um, other special treatment. I don't know anybody at Cutco. I just did what anybody else would do. And these are my results. So if you're considering Cutco, um, they are an investment. The knives, I would say on average, were $75 to $150 a knife, which isn't out of line with something like, you know, Wustov or Hinkle's. But um, the customer service with Cutco is just stellar. And if you're thinking about a knife set, I would certainly say Cutco uh, should be something that you should consider. And here I'm doing the paper cuts on the uh, on the knives I got back. But yeah, so you know you may or may not like that college kids sell these knives and and make money doing it. Dang it. But it is not a scam. These are knives that I've had for many, many years. And I have no affiliation, but their website is cutco.com. You can also find a lot of these Cutco knives on eBay. So certainly, in the least, if you see these uh, used for sale somewhere, or if you got lucky and found them at an estate sale or a garage sale, they would be a great, great find to pick up. If you like this video, smash the button, subscribe. And if, you, uh, if you've had any Cutco experiences, comment below. Let us know what you think. Cheers.